So, love, sex, and relationships. Probably the most common use of spellcraft, as we find it in the New Age. It's funny, though, when we use a quote-unquote love spell. Is that really what we're after? It's often that that's not really what we're concerned with love at all. I mean, face the facts. Acknowledge that humans have desires, and... Yes, lust is one of them. When using spellcraft, do not confuse love with lust. Um, the proper intention during spellcraft will bring about the results that you desire. Um, now remember, in discussions with your partner that this idea of forever is a long time. You should probably try to avoid making the forever promise just because it's something you are probably not capable of. Um, Remember, too, that pie crust promises easily made are easily broken. And people enter your life from many directions. They come to be a part of your life in some way because of karmic agreements or links created prior to this incarnation. But um, you have lessons to learn from them. There's experiences to be enjoyed or struggled through, experienced, managed. However, you probably have other figures to encounter in your life as well. And most people have a habit of holding holding on too tightly to things that really are not, not their own, to be owned. You probably met someone before and been like, oh, I found it, the one. Uh, now, how many times have you heard yourself utter those words or someone else? And when we first come into contact with the one, um... They become our personal god, almost, our savior. Um, we project a lot into them of our ideals, and uh, if they don't live up to those projections, then then all hell breaks loose. <laughs> um, and if you do these, if you live by projections, you'll never see people for who they truly are. Um, and really, we're not programmed to see things for what they are. We're programmed to live by projections, and that's how we base our reality. Um, projections are a concept from Jungian psychology. In Carl Jung's treatise on the ego, shadow, and the self, he describes man as the one who continually feeds the tragedies and struggles of his own life. Uh, projections occur when there are aspects of the self that are left unfulfilled. This is usually due to the suppression of the shadow self, which prefers to not... It's parts of us that we don't acknowledge that are vital attributes of the true self, of where we come from, who we are, and um, they remain hidden. Um, to compensate or to feel complete, we project what we feel we lack into others, and this is this is why we see them as our god. And then months later, we're cursing that person's name or yours or whatever. Later, uh, we're cursing that person's name um, and existence. And um, people believe that the key to relationships is compatibility, and this is wrong. Firstly, in the physical world, relationships the key is communication. But the key to all things in life, the universe, everything, relationships included, is to know yourself. Know yourself. Uh, if you know who you are, you'll have a difficult time in assuming um, roles that are not you or finding uh, yourself years later supposedly lost, not knowing who you are. Um, when you feel secure in yourself, you'll be better able to invite others to partake in your life and form living mutual agreements with them. Um, but when in re relationships, any kind of relationship, if someone's trying to change you against your will, it's probably time to get out of the relationship, uh, whatever it may be. Don't allow others to change you. If there's something, if there's an aspect requiring changing, you need to recognize it and resolve it. Um, and that's the same with talking to other people. Other people need to recognize and resolve things for themselves. If you try to push, um, it's just going to create more defenses. It's going to be counterproductive. The entire point of the true uh, relationship agreements is mutuality. Uh, there has to be a mutual exchange of energy. If not, one of the persons is not focused or committed to the mutual agreement relationship. One-way relationships are a death trap. Um, they'll rob you of vital, uh, vital energies and just leave you feeling empty. 
So perhaps in all this hustle and bustle, that's what caused most sorcerers and wizards in the past not to marry, not to get involved with a lot of that. Um, they often lived in seclusion in, um, in the wilderness and, um, you know, um, seclusion, um, solitude is very different than isolation and loneliness. Um, so, um, you can only find yourself when you're alone, free of the projections, free of the conditioning, free of the roles and personas that you play towards, play out towards other people. Um, and then you can, you can really lose that and merge it when you merge it with an individual if you don't have a handle on it. So find who you are, cherish it like a priceless stone, guard and protect it from those who would relieve you of it, and then if you dare, find someone who will accept it day after day for what it is in, in truth and, and honesty.